Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So I'm having chemistry and today we are going to be looking at uh, looking at basicity of an acid slash acidity of a base then concentrated solution concentrated acid solution let me say concentrated acid solution versus a uh, dilute acid or base solution and dilute what acid or base solution all right so it's a very very simple topic so do not get a mind <laughs> Vest up. All right. So do not also know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. It is being currently displayed on the screen right now. All right. So go to Play Store right now, download that app, and have it on your phone handy. If that's what the pass question you need for your exam, you don't have to buy any physical pass questions at all. If you have that app, just for you to have your notebook by your side and you practice your way, practice your way. All pass questions for all subjects are in one app, and activation is once. Once you pay the activation for a version of the app, it remains forever. So make sure you get that app immediately and start practicing. There's a UTME challenge that will conduct for students who are writing jam for each year. So the, the challenge is weekly to win prizes. You win prizes. Apart from winning prizes, you also have the opportunity to work, to improve on your weak areas. Because after every challenge, we'll release your score. You will see the score you got per subject. And then you'll be able to work, to work on the areas that are weak. Your weak areas, you work on them, improve them. And your strengths, you keep on what, strengthening them. Right? So make sure you download that app. Activation is just 3,000 Naira. 3,000 Naira to pass your exam. That is the, that is just about the cheapest, cheap, cheapest rather, cheapest thing to do. Now, let's quickly look at basicity, acidity, concentration, acid-based solution, and dilute acid-based water solution, right? So, what is basicity of an acid? Let me double bring that out. The basicity, basicity, is that referred to an acid of an acid is the number, very simple definition, number of replaceable 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 hydrogen atoms that can be found and be found in one mole or in the molecular formula of the compound or substance all right so the basicity of an acid basicity is usually referred to of an acid basicity of an acid then acidity of a base right basicity of an acid is the number of replaceable hydrogen atoms or hydrogen ions or hydrogen proton that can be found in one mole or in the molecular formula of the compound or of the substance, right? So I'm going to use a, a, a examples of what is to drive this point home. But before we do that, let's see what acidity of a base is. Acidity, on the other hand, now of a base, of a base is the number of replaceable, replaceable hydrozyl ion hydrozyl that is oh oh ion ion that can be found can be found in one mole or in the molecular formula of the substance molecular formula formula of the base all right so here you can see of the compound of the substance or of what of the acid all right so the basicity of an acid is the number of replaceable hydrogen atom or hydrogen ions all right h positive all right that can be found in one mole or in the molecular formula of the substance why acidity on the other hand of a base now is the number of replaceable hydrozyl ion oh ion right that can be found in one mole or in the molecular formula of the base very simple very simple now to drive this point home let me give you let me show you some types of what acids 
their basicity and what examples of all such assets all right so that we do not waste too much time let's look at that immediately okay and then we'll, we'll talk we'll also look at uh, examples of uh, 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 acid the acidity and what and the types all right so now let's see so if you have what first of all the first thing you need to know is that once basicity is mentioned we are talking about what an acid and we're talking about the number of hydrogen ion produced we're talking about the number of hydrogen ion produced when you talk about basicity so if you look at through, through your OTD school past questions that is in your jump past question you will see a, what is the uh, basicity uh, of h2so4 for example is a jam question very the simplest question any human being anybody can ask you an exam so to, to feel that kind of question is in fact is 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 disheartening so please make sure you know what you're doing so we want to talk about basicity we're talking about acid and talk about the number of hydrogen ion produced if we're talking about acidity we're talking about what we're talking about a base and of course we're talking about number of hydrogen ion what produced very simple please keep this at the back of what of your of your heart all right let's let's see example let's see types of an acid let's see types of an acid let's see the basicity here then let's see example all right clear right so now let's see for example monobasic acid we have what monobasic acids monobasic right mono means one right their basicity is usually what one an example of monobasic acid is what is hcl right because HCl has what? How many hydrogen ion here? Yeah, has just one hydrogen ion. All right, so that's why we said what? It is what? It is monobasic. It, it, its basicity is one. All right. Now let's see another type of acid. Dibasic acid. A dibasic acid we have what? Two basicity of two. All right. An example of course would be what? H2SO4. This is an example of what of a dibasic what acid because the number of hydrogen ion producer is what? Is two now let's see tri basic tri basic acid a tri basic acid we have a basicity of three and of course an example is what h3po4 all right that's an example of what of a di of a tri basic what acid likewise if you have type types of base yeah then yeah we have what acidity right then you will have examples all right so now types of base we have what we also have mono acidic base a mono acidic what base right it will have acidity of one isn't it example is what n a o h it's a mono acidic base another example is what so also k o h it's a mono acidic base all right now that's a monoacidic base having what acidity of one. They also have diacidic base. All right. Also have acidity of two. An example, of course, is what calcium hydroxide. All right. That is what. Uh, that's a diacidic or base. CaOH two. They also have what triacidic what base having acidity of what of three. An example is what is aluminium hydroxide. All right, so that is what a triacidic base. So what you need to know is that when we talk about basicity, we're talking about an acid and its number of hydrogen ion produced. All right, now we talk about acidity, we're talking about a base and number of OH ion what produced. These are examples of what types of acid and what types of bases and what their basicity, their acidity, and examples to show for them. All right, so please. In case I'm to, I'm to take this part off and we'll continue with the next part of the topic. Uh, in case you want to go back and look at it, you can just take the video back, of course, and feel free to watch over and over. All right, now let's see uh, concentrated solutions and dilute solution. Concentrated solution and dilute solution of acid and what and base. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like this video. Liking the video will make other students to find the video easily and learn and pass. Please do not make don't, do not make people fear. Please just click on the like, like button. As you're watching the video now, you can just click on the like button. And do not forget to subscribe. Subscribing is to help you. 
So guys, know that subscription is free. It's not we are not paying to subscribe. Click on that red subscribe button you are seeing below the video. Just click on it. It shows that whenever we publish a new video, you'll be notified on your phone that all three schools are just published a new video. Then you can join us and come and watch it. All right. So please, I do need to help you and to help us. Please help us grow. Subscribe to the channel. All right. Now let's let's continue. So what's a concentrated acid or base solution? A concentrated acid or base solution is one containing little or no solvent that is what water molecules right so a concentrated acid or base solution is one so it's, 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 it's a solution that's containing little or no solvent or metabolic know that on solute plus solvent we did if you join us when we did separation of techniques we talked about this solute plus solvent will give us what solution all right so a solution is formed when a solute and a solvent will come together now a solution that has no solvent is just what having what more solutes so a concentrated solution of acid or a concentrated base or a concentrated acid we have what more solutes to have solutes and have what little or no solvent so that is a concentrated what acid or base solution a concentrated acid or base solution is a solution having what little or no solvent how little or no water molecules all right now i haven't seen this now the next thing to see of course is examples examples of concentrated acid is what h2so4 so you usually see conch so you see conch at the back concentrated h2so4 you see concentrated naoh these are all what concentrated what solution as of acid or base this is a concentrated what uh Acid is a concentrated word base. Also, we have HCl, concentrated conch HCl or conch KOH. All these are what concentrated word solutions, all right, of acid or bases. Now, on the other hand, what's a dilute solution now? A dilute. So sometimes, <laughs> some of you that drink Ribena, if you go and buy that Ribena from the market, that's usually in one long can, right? You see that it's very, very concentrated. Most times, um, Mothers, we was we put we add water to it, we add water to it so that what it will be it will be okay for what for drinking. All right. So if you get that kind of one, you see that your mom, your mom may say, ah, I drink it like that. Go and dilute that this thing. Go, go and add more water. Go and dilute it. So if you had go and dilute it, what you go? You run to the you run to where water is and what and you add more water to the rabina and you take it. It's still cool, right? Now, so that is what. Rabina, that is what Rabina. Now, uh, from that example I just stated, adding water to the Rabina does not make the Rabina to become water. It is still going to be what? Ruby Rabina, isn't it? It does not change it from what? From Rabina. It's still going to have the taste. It's still going to be sweet. But it depends on how, how dilute. You see, if you're going to add water, more water, maybe you add one drum of water inside one small kind of uh, uh, Rabina, you may not feed the Rabina again. All right. So that is what, what, what dilute. Uh, solution of acid or base means that means you're adding more water than even the acid than even the acid to the water to the acid so once you add more water you see that what it becomes will dilute so a dilute solution is one a dilute solution of acid or base is one containing more solvent more solvent than what than solute than solute all right so that is that is that for that so a, a dilute solution of an acid or base is one containing more solvent than what than solute right so but as solute plus solvent like i said solute plus solvent is equals to a solution that's why a dilute solution is a solution that containing more more solvent now continue more solvent but what less of what solute all right it may even have no they may not have absolute the job that the solute will be there because if you dry it you may root will get it back so the solute is there but little or no solute but what more was solvent have more was more water molecules so that is different between a concentrated acid or base solution and a dilute acid or base solution all right so in the next class we are going to go into i'm going to progress into what 
uh, acid base and salt as a topic and we're going to continue until we do calculation in ph or, or, or poh so i'll see you in that class make sure you join me